Yeah, a problem. Meantime, a whistleblower now warning that the millions of affected user uh, data could be stored in Russia. I think that it's going to be Mark Zuckerberg's performance because he's sending out Sheryl Sandberg in his stead, who clearly loves to tell women how to lean in in this country. But when you know, when, this is a very serious issue, and I would argue that her performance last week in terms of giving interviews uh, was a little light in terms right. of really grappling with the seriousness of it. I point to a New York Post, the front page, the front page of the Post. On Saturday, we own you, pay us for your privacy. Shocking. And then Mark Zuckerberg, famously in 2010, was sweating like Richard Nixon, breaking out in a flop sweat like none other. Again, it's just going to be Zuckerberg sitting there whether this stock sells off or not. Right. This is, a, this is the main event here. All the pre-interviews yesterday, uh, last week with Cheryl Sandberg was doing, those were opening acts. The real thing here, Zuckerberg is on the hill, on the hill today preparing. Tomorrow, 2.30, must see TV. Zuckerberg appearing before this committee. This is something he's never done before in this kind of hearing, and he doesn't have any natural allies on these committees. These senators on both sides of the aisle are gunning for big tech, and so this hearing is the start of that. Are they really gunning for big tech, though, Nick? I mean, big tech is... So Right. You know, th it, when you talk about Silicon Valley and technology, right. it is one of the most divided areas politically, that all of the CEOs have historically been big givers to Demo Democratic candidates. Their policies lean very far left. There's really not room, you saw with the firing of that Google employee, not room right. for uh, conservative thought or speech. And so I just wonder what kind of treatment he gets. I, I would separate it from that. What this is, is the final, the, the first time Congress is really going to ask the questions, are these tech companies too big and do they know too much about their users and have they done a good job of explaining to users how much they know. For a lot of members of the Hill, this is a mystery to them. There are no natural allies for Facebook or other of these big technology companies. I don't look to see any friendly questions from Mark tomorrow when he's in Congress. We've known, Mike Murphy, that this was going on for years in terms of Facebook not protecting user information, whether you were talking about rap leaf or clout, and their way of enforcement was to call up the company and tell them, don't do that anymore. Yeah. And, and it's only because this was somehow related to the Trump campaign that people are now furious and up in arms. I think what Mark Zuckerberg is going to talk about a lot this week is what Facebook used to do and what they are doing now to talk about how the company has shifted, how they're protecting your data. But you know when you go on there, Dagan, you're giving up a lot of your information. If you don't want to give that up, you shouldn't be on Facebook. They, they may have a responsibility to not sell it, or, but they, once you're on there, that data is there, and they own it. They, they do, as the cover said. Do they know what they're doing now? That's, I mean, you said they're going to talk about what they're doing now. I think a lot of people look at this and say, do they know what they're doing now? Or are they really just like, we actually have no idea what's going on. And every single day now, we're seeing new revelations of more, you know, uh, uh, inappropriate data sharing, customers having their data used in ways that they didn't know. I don't think Facebook has a good handle on where they are. I think this is years ago when, when the, the, I think it was 2014, the Cambridge Analytica um, in, information ended up being given to the yeah. uh, improper parties. So I think Facebook today, 2018 versus four years ago, is a vastly different company. It's run differently. So I think that's what they want to hey. underline is how, how they're now doing their best to yeah. potentially protect your data the best possible. I think they're going to have a heavy lift trying to show that. I really do. I don't I, think they, people think it's changed that they much. They knew that that, uh, that, uh, that data back in 2015 had been improper. Properly accessed, and they basically said, "Don't you know? Do away, get rid of it." Mm -hmm. Nick, final word, real quick. I think the key thing is there that a lot of people who are sort of really into this issue know about how much Facebook has. This is the first time members of Congress will learn how big that is. And let's hope that they bone up in advance of this, because we know how this can go <laughs> if they're really not sure of the questions they're asking. But again, Wilmer Hale, the law firm, given uh, Mark Zuckerberg some prep. In advance of that, the Wall Street Journal reported that today. Nick, thank you so much. Great Always. to see you. Nick Johnston Thanks. of Axios.